Kate here. I'm going to attempt to try to change out the IPA in here. This is the first time I've done this, so we're going to see how it works. For those that don't know, I have a form lab. Uh, form 2 printer and I have a form wash and a form cure. So this is the first time I'm replacing the IPA. For those that don't know, IPA stands for isopropyl alcohol. And uh, and so it, it does have instructions on here and I've gone over it and I think I can do this hopefully uh, without messing up too bad. Uh, so I'll be going over this, trying to attempt this. I got the siphon pump, came with the, the wash and I uh, have the unit and everything so we're good uh the isopropyl alcohol i bought it off of amazon and it's actually four gallons packed in 16 quarts it is 50 60 bucks uh, if you I have a link to this in the description below this video you'll be able to find it uh, if you want to order your own ipa i'm going to go we're going to measure it first uh using that hydrometer Hydrometer, probably is how you say it, and uh, I'll show you what level it's at right now. So here is my my form wash. I've just pulled the unit. I'm in my garage right now. That's why um, over here has a little bit better ventilation than where I had this, and uh, so I just pulled the whole unit over here. And notice I have my gloves, and I have paper towels, and I have a little spray bottle for cleaning and uh, I have empty jugs of isopropyl alcohol. The stuff I used to fill this up with, I kept the jugs to store it in. I have my siphon pump. I have uh, a filter. I don't know if I'm gonna need it or not, but I chose this area. This is my packing shipping area. But this table, this is, you can see my boxes down there for packing and shipping, but this is kind of a, my, if you've seen this before, it's a science uh, room in a high school or whatever. And this is that slate, and it's pretty much chemically inert, but you can see it's hard to keep clean. It, it, it's been well used. It's very, very old. Let's go ahead and test this. This is my hydrometer, hydrometer. Uh, I have uh, I've already calibrated it with brand new IPA, and that is where I put the ring right there at those low wings. And what they say is when the ring gets above the high wings, you need to replace it. So let's see where we are at. And as you can tell, I'm getting close. I probably have some pretty good uses uh, before I need to replace it. Oh, it's actually not too bad. Yeah, usually, it, so if it's up here, then I probably need to replace it above it. But it actually probably doesn't need to replace, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace it because it's really dirty and I don't like it <laughs> being that dirty. So I'm going to store this away. What I love about these form washes is they have these little cubbies right here for all your little tools and stuff. Little wings on the side. Keep everything nice and organized. All right, let's attempt this. I'm gonna raise that. Oh no, I need to raise that whole thing up. Alright, so now I'm gonna open it. Can you see how dirty that water is in there? Alright, so now that's raised up like that. And then, I should be able to pull this out. Perfect. this I got little bits right here from my supports that have fallen off and floated so I'm going to try to clean those up later on so I'm going to remove this part there we go set it to the side and there we are with the gunk I have a little Tupperware thing with my two bottles and I'm going to I think I have to get this on a lower level 
So now, what I'm supposed to do, put this in here, I do have the other end in here, and theoretically, give this thing a couple pumps. Easy enough. Very cool. This is also sucking up a lot of the supports that are in there too. Now obviously, I'm not using this right. Somebody's watching this right now and saying, yeah, you gotta close that thing. That didn't take too long. I'm gonna try to clean this out. Now, for those that don't know how this works, there's this little spinner down thingy down here, and it's actually magnetized. And over there, bottom of this, there's a magnet underneath there, and it causes it to spin. And so that is your what's causing all the alcohol to, it'll cause a tornado in there, and will wash your 3D parts and then it'll, it'll stop after I believe it's two minutes and then it'll, it'll go the other way and so it just really does a thorough job. Nice and clean. Spinner's clean. This is what we took out of there about a gallon and a half I was a little low I didn't want to refill it until I got the fresh stuff in there See why I want to use this tabletop since it doesn't get affected by chemicals and stuff. So I wanted to clean this thing. Okay, that cleaned up easier than I thought. The basket probably needs a good wiping down. Let's do that. Alrighty to refill this thing. So let me show you what I got off of Amazon. This box. <laughs> One liter isopropyl alcohol, 99%. So if you don't know, you need 90 or above percentage in your form wash. I, I got this from the hardware store and feed store. It rubificant, rubificant, whatever. It's 99% alcohol solution. Isopropyl alcohol, it's the same thing. And cue the time lapse. Hey, you wanna hear what the sound of quality? Drop the basket in there. All right, so we're gonna do the hydrometer meter now, and we're gonna set it with some fresh IPA. You almost can't see it in there so clear. So let's drop that in there. There we go. Let's raise those 
Hose. So that's it, it's ready to go, it's been changed, I hope this has helped somebody out there. Um, again, changing the IPA in a form, labs form, wash unit, and that's it.